we begin with another case. And that's the one that Republicans have drummed up against President Joe Biden's only living son. For years, the right wing has been running a sketchy, tawdry political operation to find and prosecute any wrongdoing by the president's son, Hunter Biden. And the president's son has, of course, as we all know, made some very bad judgment calls over the years, largely, I think, related to his lifelong struggle with addiction. But he has been targeted in what is essentially a political hit job, intended to inflict pain upon his father. He is facing criminal charges by a special prosecutor in the Department of Justice that many experts say would never be brought against anyone who is not the son of the president. Now, some of the most serious claims leveled against Hunter Biden have to do with his work for a Ukrainian energy company called Burisma and alleged payments they made to the Bidens, plural. You see, Republicans have been yelling from the rooftops about Burisma and alleged bribes paid not only to Hunter Biden, but to Joe Biden, to the man himself, the president of the United States, who was then vice president. That idea of illicit, secret, seven-figure bribes to the man who's currently president has been the central point of their whole attack. And today, in the most spectacular embarrassment imaginable, it blew up in their faces. You see, the special counsel, Republican appointee, leading the case against Hunter Biden, who was appointed by Donald Trump, now says that that guy, this informant they hung their entire claim on about the bribe, he lied. Their infamous FBI informant is being federally criminally charged for making it all up. Documented allegations of bribery from a trusted FBI confidential human source has now finally been released. Now its contents are devastating. Okay, I am sparing you the amount of Sean Hannity I could play you. For my sins, I watched about 30 minutes of monologues. But in his show, Fox host Sean Hannity alone promoted the claim of this single FBI informant no less than 85 times last year. 28 of those segments were monologues, very long monologues, in addition to all the breathless so-called reporting. And this is across the right-wing media. Hannity had House Oversight Committee Chairman and Chief Biden Crime Family Investigator James Comer on as a guest 43 times in 2023. Today, James Comer and Sean Hannity's favorite informant, the smoking gun for their investigation, was arrested at Harry Reid International Airport in Las Vegas. He was indicted on two counts of feeding the FBI false information about President Joe Biden and his son Hunter. According to that indictment, 43-year-old Alexander Smirnov's story about Burisma officials paying the Bidens millions, quote, was a fabrication, an amalgam of otherwise unremarkable business meetings and contacts.